behave, bloody as. All right, I'll, I'll go stop filming now before, stop I, digging your hole. before I get cancelled. This part was nice mortar, then that part was solid, then like this part was nice, and then it's solid again. So this is our first day back after um, Super Trial, which I'm currently editing. Super Trial was a great day. Happy Monday. Well, not at the moment. Oh. <laughs> we are on a new job, which um, it's an old job. Well, a new job at an old. I'll zoom in on when I'm editing, but there's the extension we built. This is the one with the basement with the. Uh, when we got a shotgun, we're digging the foundations out. And we have big steels on that too. So we're back. Um, customer's bought himself a nice big camper van and because of this fast narrow country lane as you're just backing it in and out is a bit of an issue for you. This is what we're doing because the it wants to drive widening which is going to be a right pain in the arse because um, it's patterned concrete not for us but for them to get it sorted so as you can see the, the um, pillar's coming down this is coming down. The pillar is being moved back roughly to where that let's go around here. Roughly to where this bin is. I think we were said about here. So all this is so we're getting an extra at least four foot. We're gonna rebuild the pillar here. We're gonna cut back and um, put a bit of foot concrete in. Pillar rebuilt and then rebuild this wall back on an angle like that. We're going to try and reuse the bricks, although some of them look quite ropey, but we are going to have a lot of spurs obviously because we're losing a lot of wall here. Uh, we can take everything down. I think he has to take it down to there because of the electric. Uh, there they are, they sent a picture. But the gates aren't hanging on the pillars, the, bit, the gates are hanging on this. So this pillar can come down. Obviously, all the raw iron's coming off, and we've brought we've got an 8 before sheet and some polycarb just to cover the, um, the big gap up we're going to make. So we're um, that's our job for the next three days. Once we get it down, we're going to see what it's like. We might just bring the wall. Use it's sort of going to most of it's going to be on the original wall anyway, and it's going to come across onto here. So we're going to have a look. See, I think we we'll, we did talk about it and said it, this this concrete floor is probably adequate to take that little bit of wall. The pillar's getting a new foundation, but I don't think we need to bother with the wall. And then we'll have to get the pattern concrete uh, re repatched. So this is our first day back after um, Super Trial, which I'm currently editing. Super Trial was a great day, and then we had a day at Thorpe Park the day after, which is another great day. The legs held up well, it's sore, but um, glad we did it. So let's get the tools out, let's get this stripped out. Some of that fence is connected there. It's alright, popped off. Some of the electronics, I mean. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, see it.
Bon, for that. Hey? Just to check the cabinet there. Right, we've got all the snowy commons off. We're down to the original pillars now. So, there's the original pillar height. They look like they look like Scotch commons, but better quality. So that's the original height, and then customer had all the all the pillars extended by nine courses like that. So we've got all the snowy com these are snowy commons. These are very easily gotten hold of, and obviously these aren't. So the, because they all match, it looks okay. So we we're hoping to get all these down in one piece, so we can rebuild it the same. So we've got the old brick at the bottom, and then the snowy commons on top of the pillar. These have been breaking as we've been taking them off. So as you can see, we're down to level three now. So I'm gonna start taking this, that pillar down and hopefully these bricks don't disintegrate like these bricks did. We can get away with it. If not, the customer, he's not bothered. He said, we can rebuild the whole thing in the new ones if we want. But it's just trying to save what we can. Keep it looking authentic and just not throwing as many bricks in the skip. I've rung apart a skip, but um, the skip company that we use uh, aren't they're not the most reliable so we'll see if they get back to us it's only a two ton skip we need so and then i'll just ask, ask the customer if we can put the skip on here or we should put it on the drive if we put it there don't need to ask him oh yeah well no he doesn't get on with him does he doesn't he don't think so oh maybe don't put it on here then yeah yeah well um we'll have to put the polycarp down under the skip or something then don't yeah. just scratch that up it's only a little the van's not big, much bigger than mine, it brings them skits. It's the eight days ones we've got. It's, uh, uh, anyway, that's enough waffle. I'm going to get you start filming this and see what happens. Yeah? It's working, but wouldn't it be so much easier with the socket set? Mm hmm. Oh. Thread. What does that mean? It's just turn it, like the, the, the space fire parts that comes in and out fast. Alright, uh, we've just took this off. It's, uh, it's like, it's like a mar not marble, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's a fancy nameplate anyway, so that's off. That came off very easy. Let's just use the uh, them bolts. So, yeah. Crack on. Filming or time lapse in? Filming at the moment.
It's uh, somewhere past somewhere past lunchtime. <laughs> Quarter past two. So it's been a while since an update, but here you are. Let me just put my gloves back on. There's where we're at. It's a long process because it started, it was like this part was nice mortar, then that part was solid, then like this part was nice, and then it's solid again. They right. never book, gauge this mix in. Oh no. So it was uh it's it's slow going, but you can see the pile that we're making. I think they were the word you're looking for is soul destroying. Not <laughs> slow going. That's why I haven't filmed much of it because like there's not much to film, is there? how boring it is to watch. Yeah. It's even twice as boring to do it. And uh, have that sustained my injury. I've uh, I missed, missed the brick with my scutch. And it, it stung a bit, but when I looked it was blue. Because I'd just perfectly ripped the skin off enough for you to see the vein. Uh, not me sick. I, I, I got a boo-boo as well. Yeah, that, that, that's there himself as well. Can't see, can't see your vein though. No, that's probably a horsefly bite. <laughs> And I've been surrounded by horseflies as well. We are in the middle of a farmer's field. Yeah. But yeah, so progress is getting there. We're up to the plinth quarter. Nice. And um, just a quick one, I don't know if Dad's mentioned. This pillar's staying in for now because um, the. It's on it. Yeah, the gate, it's got this um, sense of the customer's asked for that to stay in until the gate guy comes. The gate guy. <laughs> Behave, bloody as. <laughs> He's gonna come and sort out that. So we're not touching that until. He identifies as a gate guy. D don't encourage them. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just taking the wall out. Alright, I'll, I'll go stop filming now before, stop I, digging your hole. before I get cancelled.
Tied him with an angle bead, which has rotted it to nothing. Drop that. Good job, they bounce. Yeah. So, I've asked for the big rascal. The reason being, it has a super long chisel bit on it, so I can get back off my knees. So, I'm going to finish this last course off with this. Thank you much. I'm going to catch a little bit. Grab them out, please. Right, there you go. End of part one. End of day one. That took some getting down that. It certainly took some cleaning. If I just peep over the wall, to turn the radio down first. Right. There you go. There's our reds for the two bank horses. Oversailing the bank horse. There's our brick and edge. Here's our main brick. These are snowy bricks for the top of the pillars, and there's our little stack. 
Yeah. We've got spares. I hope so, I was asking for two of that bucket. Yeah. Yeah, th that pile in the corner there is bricks we can clean up if we need them. Hopefully we don't. And there's there's the damage that we fenced into the storage container, storage box. I'm freaking gutted about that. I've not told the customer yet because he's on holiday, so I don't know when he's holiday. So, um, oh yeah, wrong about the mixer. Hodgson's are busy, so I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, so we're going to have to hire one for tomorrow for the rest of the week. We can't manage to put the paddle mixer doing this. So we'll get it, we're going to work out what we need tomorrow, get all our supplies first thing in the morning and get straight over here. So we'll get, a, get to Hodgson's for about 20 past 7 and get the mixer sorted out and then off to Fairwoods. Well, it's, um, no, we'll get the sand from Fairwoods, mm -hmm. get the bricks from Hughes Grey because uh, Stuart hasn't got any snowies. And we need six snowy commons, we've only broke six. I found, it. I found another one. Oh no, okay. So there you go. Oh, what a mess. It's our speciality messes and making them look nice. Last time we were here, all this area was covered in boards for a grab wagon. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? We had this whole part boarded up. Yeah. And now it's just uh, a. All, all, all I remember was the concrete. They washed the wheelbarrows out on the floor. So it took me over an hour to, to spray the, the drive down and get the drive clean. Right, let's get these these boards. We're going to try and get it up. Get them done with ratchet straps. Would have been better with a few screws and that, but um, guess what? We haven't built the rattler. Nope. We'll muddle through.